Hey there, friends. Are you ready for today's really big question? Our question today is, who sang after Moses in the song of Moses? Was it Aaron? Miriam? Pharaoh? Or Peter? Hmm, I think I know the answer, but just to make sure, let's learn another great lesson from God's Word. Let's dive in. Come, let's sing Jesus, 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 let's sing Jesus, and every day children's way. Hey there, friends! You know, I'm so glad you can be with me again today. I was actually singing through some of these songs. You know how you go in the building where you go to church and they have these books? Or maybe they don't have books. Maybe you sing songs on a screen and you're looking at a wall. What did, where, where can we find these things? Well, in a songbook. And that's what I have right here. And you know, in the Bible, some of these songs actually come from the Bible. Now, they weren't written by inspired men or of God, but what we do find is people who find Bible lessons and they put these lessons in here for us to sing, not just to each other, but to sing to God. And you know, when I think about one of my favorite songs in all of the Bible, when you look in the book of Exodus, when the children of Israel have been led out of the land of Egypt by the hand of Moses, and God is leading Moses and Israel through this wilderness, and they come to the Red Sea, they didn't know what to do. In fact, they were terrified and were afraid. But you know what God did? When the people asked Moses, what are we going to do? You let us out here to just get caught by Pharaoh because he's right behind us and he's going to catch us. Well, Moses said, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And he opened up the waters, held out his staff, and the waters parted. There was dry ground and the Israel walked across dry land. But when the Egyptians tried to cross the Red Sea on the dry land, the sea swallowed them up. And afterwards, we find in Exodus 15, what's called the Song of Moses. Now, the Song of Moses, when we talk about how we can sing songs for God, the Song of Moses is a song that was sung by Moses and all of Israel. And there was even an echo part. In this echo part, once Moses would sing, Miriam, his sister, would sing, and it would keep going back and forth. But their song was about how God had been with his people all along, how God had delivered Israel out of Egypt. And you know, there are songs that we sing that talk about how we have victory or deliverance, as we'll talk about in a few days, how God can help protect us through all the terrible things that life might hold for us. You know, there's some songs that we sing that talk about victory with God. Faith is the victory, or I will call upon the Lord, or there is beyond the azure blue, or faith of our fathers living still. There are so many songs that we sing that talk about God's deliverance and how God loves His people. But you know, one song that you might know very, very well that talks about how well God has taken care of us is a very simple song. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Now friends, the Bible tells me more than just Jesus loves me. But it also tells me that God loves me so much as well that He protects me through the things that His Son has said through the Bible. And friends, that's a reason, just like those in Egypt, that's a reason for us to sing to God, to thank Him for all the wonderful things He's done to deliver us. Now that's all the time we have here today. Let's go sing a song with our friend Paul. Let's go! Sing Christian songs with Paul. Thanks, E.T. Hey, kids, would you like to sing another Christian song? 
How about higher ground? I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. By faith on heaven's table land. A higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Great job, kids. We'll see you next time. It's memory work time. It's time for us to say our memory work together. Now, today I'm feeling very, very musical, so we're going to sing our memory work together. Now, our memory work comes from Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 19. So let's go through it twice, but the first time I want you to listen very, very carefully. So, do you have your listening ears? Listen carefully. Three, two, one, listen. Speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Now, friends, it's really long, but let's see if you can sing it with me the second time. Are you ready to sing it? Three, two, one, let's sing. Speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Now friends, if singing is the best way for you to learn God's Word, Keep on singing this song and maybe drive mom and dad a little crazy this week. And by the end of the week, you'll have another piece of God's Word in your heart. And even better, you'll be making melody to the Lord. Now friends, that's all the time we have here. Let's go answer our really big question for today. Let's go. Come, let's sing Jesus, 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 Jesus,